So now we have a bunch of science. We've, we've established that we can set a basic rocket into space. We can drive around a little vehicle. We're starting our astronaut training is what's happening. We're, we're still gonna have to send a few automated rockets, but our astronaut training has begun. So we're gonna unlock basic rocketry over here, which is gonna unlock fuel-based um, rocket engines, which is gonna be great. Survivability seems like maybe a good idea. It also encompasses the first solar panels, which come nice and early here, which is important because our probe cores will, um, will run out of juice otherwise. So that's gonna be nice bigger battery bank, our first heat shield, if we did want to return anything, that sort of thing. So we're going to do that. Um, and then we have some interesting decisions as to where to go. Could unlock even more science here, which probably isn't a bad idea. Yeah, we're going to unlock some options of science er, harder, but then we're also going to unlock some plain stuff. And oh, we just don't have enough for the radial shoots. If we can get the radial shoots unlocked, then all of a sudden, uh, plane flight becomes much, much safer. So I think that's going to be our goal. Well, first, we're going to check our, our contracts here. Study contracts. Yeah, manned altitude record of 18K. We're going to go ahead and add that to our queue. Field research. Mm. They want us to perform, do the same thing we've been doing so far, roam around the uh, the space center, but then take uh, magnometer scans instead, which we could do if we needed extra money, but you know, it's not a big deal. Um, these are biome ones, do uh, temperature scans of the grasslands, uh, the shores, and... Kerbin's grasslands, Kerbin's grasslands. Oh, landed and flying. That's okay, we could do this very easily with a plane. That's, I think, what our, we're going to do. So, there are biomes, like, we've done, everything we've done so far has been at the KSC, but there's biomes like grassland, highlands, mountains, uh, shore, ocean, etc. And there's a lot of science to be gotten on this planet still. So our goal, I think our next thing we're going to do, is build a plane that can fly around and pick up some of these, uh, these little science bits. Um, so, let's figure this out. What is the survival you're talking about? I know, it's like... We're playing Kerbal Space Program. What's up with survival? Now, there's no reason that I couldn't just build a plane out of probes. But we're going to go and start introducing some risk here. And just like real astronauts, a lot of them are going to train up by flying in a plane. So we've got you. We've unlocked the, um, the Science Junior over here. So we can get some experiments out of that, which is great. We still don't have the, uh, the goo canisters, which is funny because you normally start with that. Um... We're then going to throw in a, uh, do I want to do the liquid fuel here? No, I don't think so. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, do we have structural fuselage? This is empty and light. I'm just going to do this. Or no, I know what I'm going to do. It's going to look cool. And looking cool is what it's all about. one there we go this is gonna look slick uh, so let me throw some science on here I'm gonna try to figure out our weight first so we're gonna get our thermometer pressure mat um, magnimeter boom I suppose seismic thing for when we're landed that's gonna be a okay so um, I guess hmm you know what it would look much much less stupid If we used the universal storage system over here to lock these experiments in as these wedges, if I can, there we go. So that one was what? Magnometer boom, which is that one. Orbital telescope, well we're not going to be in orbit so we're not going to do that one. Oh, and that's the Science Junior. Okay, so, hold on. Then I don't need you. So, if I've got the Science Junior, the press mat, and too hot, and the magnimeter boom, I'm just missing the seismograph. Seismic accelerator. There we go. So we'll put that on there so we can do some ground readings when we're on the ground. Uh, there's a bit of a gap there, but that's okay. Uh, if that bothers anyone, and I'm sure it does, we can just put a... Um, universal storage bay down there. It's going to be empty, but we could actually stuff some things in there. I suppose 
Now that I think about it, what I could do, open the bay doors, Hal, is stuff the seismograph inside of that. A little hard to see. There we go. Close that. Boom. There we go. Because I don't have to click on any of that directly because I can use that tool to help us out. So that's the core of our plane. Now we're going to grab some wings. Now, if this wing's not, if this plane's not going to be that fast, we really don't want swept wings. We probably just want you know, straight ones like this. It'd be great if we didn't cover up the logo. Um, let me actually start with the tail bit. I think we're going to be fine using the Delta Deluxe winglets. They're pretty big. But I guess that's the way it's going to be, huh? Are you swooped down? I don't want you swooped down. I want you... I guess you're going to be swooped up a little bit. Like that. Turn off symmetry, turn on snapping, like that. Then we can turn on the center of mass and the center of lift. And what you want is you want your center of lift to be, um, what would it be? No, these are gonna be fine. They're lighter, right? Yeah. You want it to be just behind the center of mass. Now, right now it's way behind because we're getting ridiculous amounts of lift from the tail here. Um, also, that was just one wing, so let's go and fix that. But we're going to add some weight to these wings here in a second because this is how we're going to go. And we're going to do that using our jet engine. So I want the Mark Zero liquid fuel tank. I think it would look better if it was a little bit more centered. Um, then, so the Juno basic engine here goes on the back. And jet engines, they're air breathing engines. So the difference between a liquid fuel tank and a regular fuel tank is the fuel tank is a combination of liquid fuel and oxidizer so that you can burn it in space. Whereas liquid fuel is just liquid fuel that then has to be mixed with oxygen from a air intake of some kind to make a jet engine work. So then we've got this. Hey, you gotta say, this is kind of looking funky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you're very likely to die from plain stuff though. Uh, we do have retractable landing gear. I suppose we could do something with that. It would look cooler if we did. So, we're going to need one in the front. And then we're going to need some... Where can we put you? Ideally, these should be just behind the center of mass. Um, to prevent it from sort of tipping backwards. Something like that, although... I'm going to use the move tool to take this and move it inside the plane so it's a little bit more level. Because otherwise... I mean, it just... A, it looks dumb, but your plane is going to be sitting on the runway looking all tip tilted. It kind of looks like... It looks, um... To me, more than a Cessna, it looks a little bit like a... Like a... Beechcraft or something? I don't know. I mean, none of those are jets, but... So, our center of lift is way, way, way too far back. You want you want the center of mass in front of the center of lift, but not that much. We're actually getting too much lift from these guys, which is very odd. Oh, we still need, uh, we need some elevons here, so we've got some amount of control. Um... Oi. There we go. There we are. God, why is that so hard? Um, if you want maximum roll control, you want it as far out as possible, but we're going to attenuate it a little bit by moving the elevons a little bit closer up here. Smaller tail. I think we will go for... Uh, I think the, uh, the, the rudder is okay. Because um, you actually kind of do want a fairly large rudder, usually. Um, I guess the thing to do will be to take, like, just the basic fins or something like that. And then, do we have, like, a really tiny control surface? Because the thing is, we need a control surface back here. I don't think we do. Because these things don't, they don't... You know, they don't tilt or do anything. 
Well, I think our best bet is actually this, and I don't have any mods to, like, tweak this shit. There you go. I guess if I just move the tail actually a little further inward, we might end up with a little bit more of a behavior that we'd like. I could put, like, a fuel tank back here, just some, some dead air. Like, dead weight is what I meant to say. Are these wing oh, these winglets are smaller. Well, well, well. And their whole, the whole thing of theirs, like, tips. Well, let's give that a try. Well, first what we're going to do, so we're going to call this the, um, Twin, Twin Jet Mark 1, codenamed... Codename, I'm thinking that's the ND Coda. I don't know how to parse your name, so the ND Coda. I'll just write it all out to one over here. So, we don't have any parachutes, which means I'm not actually going to fly this thing. You can use the ailerons for pitch and roll with a fixed tail. That's true! Um, so we'll keep this, let me turn on the brakes because we're rolling. I'm going to keep a bunch of science from the runway here, because we want to unlock something. So, just to confirm... Oh man, the uh, that boom is awkward as hell. The whole, do we have reaction wheels? Oh, we do. Huh. It's like, why is the whole plane moving when I hit the various arrow keys? I didn't realize there was reaction wheels on by default. I mean, everything is responding. This will this will probably not kill us. <clears throat> um, but what we're going to do is recover the vessel as is. So we confirmed that our control surfaces are probably okay. And yeah, we're not missing the rear controls because those those winglets have full control surfaces. They're actually what you want to use for supersonic flight. But what was going to be important here is that we're like, you know what? Our pilot is getting a little skittish. Uh, he insists that we... Um, and he never learned how to land is the problem. Uh, poor Jeb never learned how to land the plane. So we're going to throw some parachutes on the plane itself as our emergency landing button. Where's the center of mass? So right by the center of mass here. That. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off and pull this off, rotate it like that so that the boom comes straight up and looks a little less awkward. And we need to do our thing. So in case of emergency, I can hit the space bar to stage our parachutes and land that way. Boop. This will probably not kill us. Famous last words. Yeah. I'm a little worried. Um... Specifically about the takeoff, it's actually very easy to, like, do a tail slap and have your entire plane explode on takeoff. This could be our first Kerbal loss right here. Um, it's entirely possible, if not probable. Let's go! Nice rickety runway over here. I think the next version it's going to be entirely flat, the, the Tier 1 runway, which is a little sad. Nice! Track the landing gear. And let me reset, reset. Dude, we have a plane and it looks cool. We're gonna keep that experiment. Alright, let's uh let's go over we wanna get to the grassland. We've got a, a quest for that. It's cool, right? Who's flying it is Jebediah in the pilot seat. What are you doing? 112. Now we do have a mission to have a, a manned craft of some kind get to 18 kilometers. That could be done with a plane. I mean, historically, 
um, it was the X-plane program that literally sent planes to space. Like, they hit the edge of space. They were in space. Um, these, these rocket planes. I mean, not jet propelled like this, but we could make a rocket plane get there. Now those, they got, they got piggybacked. The big plane brought them quite high, and then they lit their rocket engines and then went, and then mostly just pointed straight up. But it turns out that pointing straight up can work. So we're going to try to land on the grasslands here, because we've got a mission for that. Do do do. Landed at the grasslands. There you go. So I've just killed my engine. I'm going to lower the landing gear just to give us a little bit more drag. Just burn off speed and see if we can't uh, can't land. X planes are pretty much in the beginning of the space program. Yeah, absolutely. Now. I could, I will remind you, oh, uh, crew report, here, you can, oh, we can't transmit it, we don't have an antenna. Alright, we need a little bit more speed, because we actually don't have the ability to straighten out here. We're, we're we stalled. There we go. So we don't want to go too fast, but a little faster than we were going, because we couldn't pull up. And we're just sinking like a rock. So we will try a legitimate landing here. Where's my shadow? There it is. It's a lot easier to land when you can see your shadow. Okay. Uh, there's a hill coming up. That's not going to make our life any easier. So we're burning off a lot of speed. Oh my god, it worked! Kill the engine. Hit the brakes. I think we hit a bump. We hit a bump. But it didn't kill us. That's the advantage of the cockpit. It's actually really, really durable. Oh my god, look at the garbage everywhere. We landed successfully. Ah. Alright, well, recover the vessel. Now, if the experiment we needed for the mission got destroyed, and we didn't come back to the science, we'll have to do that again. Kill the engine, not the Kerbal. Well, you got a bunch of science. Nope. Alright. So, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go get Jeb. I know you just survived that, buddy, but uh, you're going to have to do this again. Terribly sorry. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Uh, we are going to throw an antenna on this this time, though. Jeb doesn't want to go again. Tough. Mm. What's cool is um, one of the uh, contract mods that I picked up is actually like a pilot or um, uh, an astronaut training system. Um, we'll grab that just because it's fine. Uh, good. And what it does is this will happen later on when you've done a bit more. But you'll have the option of instead of it having to be a contract where you get paid, it's an option. It's a contract where you have to pay. But it'll be a mission like fl like fly in a plane, do X Y Z. Oh, I should have transmitted that. I suppose I still can. Landing gear up. Mm, review report. Transmit this one. I love the way the plane flies, though. I don't, don't so much like the way it lands. But I love the way it flies. It'd be a lot easier if you could use a joystick for this. We have to do something with the shores, too. We have to... Oh, it landed at the shores. This might count as it. I'm not sure. Do we think this counts as shores? Feels like I'm going sideways for some reason. Landing gear. <laughs> it's no better! What? Well, it's a little bit better.
better. <laughs> I think the tail is super delicate. We should just have this be our plane. I think the tail is super delicate. So if it so much as scratches anything, it explodes. We should stick to rocket science. We know what we're doing. Yeah, put a wheel on the tail. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Just the, the little something something. We got some debris we gotta collect. Put shoots at the front and back. Well, maybe. I mean, the shoots are supposed to be mostly centered here. But yeah, it might be a good idea. Just one of these steerable landing wheels. Um, see... Oh, it's funny that it, like, inverts that. Just, just a little something there. Uh, how are we with, uh, lift and mass? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, the, it is very nose-heavy, still. I suppose I could move the wings forward, but... But no. Alright, we're gonna call that good enough for now. We've unlocked a lot of stuff. We're gonna go back to, uh, to rockets. Retractable in the back? Maybe. <laughs> um, got some debris there we can recover. Oh, we got some more. I was going to say, we probably got some back here. Yeah, you got to pick up all that trash. Plus, you get money back for bits you recovered. So those are things that fell off the plane, but didn't actually explode. So that's good. There's a runway over there you can fly to, which is kind of interesting. 